Last week, President Biden rolled out a new proposal that could cut some student loan payments in half. Consumer investigator Sasha Jones has who qualifies and when it could go into effect. As many student loan borrowers wait for news about the student loan forgiveness program, President Joe Biden has put forth a new proposal that could change the amount some borrowers pay when that student loan payment pause ends. Student debt has become a bigger burden on the average household budget, with many people enrolling in income-driven repayment plans. The plans cap their monthly bill at a portion of their discretionary income, making the debt easier to pay. But President Biden's new proposal would overhaul one of the income-driven repayment options, known as Repay-E. So today on Ask and NBC6 Responds, we want to know, how does the newly proposed income-driven repayment plan work, and who qualifies? Without interest capitalization, that means that your interest won't cause your loan to balloon. So as long as you're making any type of payment, regardless of how low it is, and for a lot of people, it won't be exactly zero, but it could be down to, you know, a hundred dollars a month from a few hundred dollars a month or something like that. Uh, you won't have to worry about your loan balance you know, ballooning and spiraling out of control just because you've been making a below minimum payment for, for so long. Under the new plan, borrowers could take advantage of lower payments without accumulating interest. Instead of charging borrowers 10% of their discretionary income a month under the proposal, it would charge just 5%. After 20 years, any remaining debt on undergraduate student loans would be canceled. When it comes to who qualifies, the new option should be available to those with federally backed undergraduate and graduate loans. But those with Parent PLUS loans won't be eligible. Depending on your income, some monthly payments could be knocked down to zero. Well, under this new proposal, individuals making $30,600 a year or you know, somebody with a family of four who's earning $62,400 a year would potentially see the amount that they pay on their student loans go all the way down to zero. And this new proposal would still need to go through a 30-day public comment period. And after that, it could take some time before it could go into effect. But it could go into effect by 2024. Sasha Jones, NBC6 Response.